top restaurants and fast food that have been in the market. Stay connected. Oh yeah, what's popping everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Fidel. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast, and I'm also an IT professional. And on this channel, we talk all things investing, economy, retirement, and of course, mindset. So please like, subscribe, comment down below, and please grab that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my special content. Cool beans, all right? And as always, guys, our mission to bring positive change, inspire, help, learn, share ideas, grow leadership. So please stay safe, stay healthy. And now without further ado, let's begin this session. All right. So guys, on this video, we are going to talk about consumer service, restaurants, fast food. So please hold your hunger. Let's get through this video first. Then you can go ahead and set up your Uber or your DoorDash order. All right, let's go ahead. So guys, elephant in the room, you know, it is obvious. The shutdown of non-essential businesses across the US, you know, this has created a, an unexpected and sudden deterioration in our economy. Yet, as an investor, we all must seek opportunity, guys, period. So I was able to find six Restaurants, fast food, they have been able to outperform the S&P 500 by at least 10% or above. Also, I'm going to be addressing very swift their balance sheet. So you'll see that some, um, you know, some companies, even though they might not have a strong balance sheet, they can still perform and outperform the index. So take this with a grain of salt, cool beans. Now, let's begin with the roster with a bank, cool? So yeah, guys, beginning with a bank, let's start with Cheap Outlet Mexican Grill Inc. All right, it engages in development and operation of fast, casual, fresh Mexican food across the US. It offers a focused menu of burrito, taco, burrito, bowls, salad. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna be able to finish this video talking about food. I mean, it's crazy, seriously. But anyway, the company was uh, was founded by Steve Ellis in 1993, so they've been around. They know the deal, and the headquarters is in Newport, uh, Newport California. So, uh, and also see here, they Chipotle has a very very nice market cap. You know, uh, 29 billions. That's very very nice. So, as we can see here, taking a uh, a brief look at the balance sheet, it's very nice. Total assets above debt, five billion. So it's very nice, very nice. You always want to see that uh, assets uh, number higher. The cash flow is pretty good. I wish that we have more. If you, if we take the numbers out of the way, they've been able to maintain, keep the employees, and as a matter of fact, increase their salary, which is amazing. So very good. So they don't have to worry about going crazy man we, we have this so much debt we don't have a way to pay they do have it many times so that's very very good now taking a look at the chart chipotle have outperformed the s p 500 by you know estimate of 28.56 percent over the past six months that's huge you can see the profit the revenue growth and the return of equity that's what we want to see and even before that correction they were still beating the market went down and then look at that huge difference right there between them two the index and and chipotle on numbers so you know this is really really good news and i'm glad we always want to see great performance or even better out completely outperformance the index in this case for chipotle right there all right so guys move on to the next one domino's pizza inc it's a pizza company which operates a network company owned and franchise owned store in the US and international markets. It operates through the following three segments stores, international franchise, and supply chain. That's a huge business model, guys. So as you can see here, they have different segmentations for you know their franchise.
franchise, international stores, and go manufacturing and supply chain center. Huge. And the company was founded by in 1960, headquarters in Michigan. Guys, so Domino is being around, guys. As you can see also this company, a little tip, there are dividends. So besides the growth that you get, you also get dividends as well. So they have a nice market cap, 14 billion. So very nice. Go ahead to, and let's take a look at the balance sheet. So balance sheet, as you can see, I feel a little capsided about this one because as you can see, total assets is 1. billion and the debt is 4. Uh, billion. It's a huge difference. I mean, the, the total debt is pretty high. Cash flow doesn't cover that much. However, then again, what I was telling you guys, there's certain companies that even that they don't have strong balance sheet, they've been able to maintain, stay strong, and perform. In this case, I mean, you could consider this exception to the rule. You can see that Domino has been able to outperform completely the S&P 500, guys. And, you know, this is crazy. If you take a look at the chart here, I mean, oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is insane. Even before the correction, you can see here the difference completely outperforming now even if you take a take a look at the correction S&P 500 actually went it took a dip um, you know, lower than Domino Domino was able to just bounce at all just go ahead and be a monster look at that completely outperforming the S&P 500 that's insane guys so as you can see a lot of times company doesn't have so on balance sheet, but they've been able to be so defensive and at the same time, keep their offense floating and fluent. If you see here, I mean, they just went off big time. This is insane. So as you can see, if you consider this, you know, exception to that rule, plus, you know, you get the growth and the dividends. So if you like, you know, this type of, uh, uh, you know, companies, then you should, you know, you should consider Domino's. Because they've been able, it's right there. Numbers don't lie. It's right there, guys. Not being able to perform in this. That's what we want to see, right? So let's move on to the next one. Papa John's. Well, can we actually dig in about Papa John's? I'll get some information. Papa John's International Inc. operates and franchises pizza delivery and carry out restaurants. It operates through the following segments. As the company owned restaurants, North America commissaries, North America franchisee, and international operations. So, we're talking another company with huge and nice business model and segmentation, guys. Right here, the company was founded in 1984. Headquarters is in Louisville, Kentucky. And they do also have a nice mar market cap, two billion. So they are also a dividend company. So you're able to get both growth plus the dividend side. So let's take a look at the balance sheet. Balance sheet. All right. Let's see. Well, as far as the balance sheet goes, the total assets actually lower than the total debt. We don't want to see that. We want to see the other way around. We want to see the assets being higher than the debt. In this case, as you can see right there, the numbers, um, you know, debt is actually is, is higher. We, you know, that's something that we know we don't want to have. Um, the cash flow is very, very low. But then again, you see this company also running through the numbers as far as the performance and even doing the downturns, you know, non-essential company being closed. And, you know, we know we all love pizza, uh, but that doesn't mean that, hey, your business is gonna just, you know, pop off. But in this case, because of the business model, they have been able to maintain, and not only that, how perform. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the chart. As you can see, Papa John's has outperformed the S&P 500, guys. Look, estimate is, is the 36 point 55%. That's huge, guys. Look, oh my goodness. Even way before 
they were still outperforming the S&P. And look at that, they bounced off and went like straight up, almost literally straight up, and look at that. That's huge difference, guys. That this is completely destroying outperforming the index, literally. So again, this is another proof right there, guys. This is amazing. So uh, hope you like it. Again, if you like the dividend, outperforming, then Papa Young should be one on your list to, uh, to consider. All right. All right, guys, next one. So we got Wingstop Inc. is a franchiser and operator of restaurants, which engages in the provision of cooked to order and hand sauced and tossed chicken wings. It operates through franchise and company segments. The franchise segment consists of domestic and international franchise restaurants. The company was founded in 1994. So they've been around. They already been in a couple, you know, correction, 2000 tech bubble away with the housing crash. So they've been around, they know the deal. Um, the company headquarters is in Texas and they have a nice uh, market cap. Four point billions, not bad. They do offer also a decent dividend yield as well. So you get, you know, both sides, the growth and the dividend yield. Let's take a look at the balance sheet real quick here. Well, regarding the balance sheet, the, uh, again, a little cap side on this one as well, total assets, it's actually lower. They have a lot of debt uh, comparing to, you know, comparing their balance sheet, you know, the total debt is, is, is a lot higher. So, you know, we don't want that. The cash flow is, the free cash flow is very low. So, you know, in this case, if you're looking for long term, not sure you'll be, if you'll be considering this one, you know, it's, it's up to you as an investor if you like it. Um, for me, it's a little capsided. However, and again, another exception to the rule, as we can see here to the chart, Winstar has outperformed the S&P 500 46.58% for the past six months guys that's tremendous look at that but well, look at that dun, 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 march and, dun, dun, dun. and then beginning of april the first week look at that boom just went up completely completely outperforming the index that's tremendous again that's what we want you know so in that case if you were able to buy it in april the beginning i mean that was a hell of a purchase right there so good for you if you were able to all right let's go ahead and begin it's young china holdings inc engages in the operation and management of restaurants and fast food chains it operates through the following segments we, i'm pretty sure you heard this before kentucky fried chicken pizza hut and other segments so another big segmentation you know pizza hut kentucky it's a classic uh, fast food joints. So, um, you know, like hard to argue when it comes to those entities, you know, they, the company was, uh, was founded in 1987 and the, again, the headquarters in Shanghai, China. And as we can see here, the, they have, they have a nice market cap, 18 billions, uh, another, uh, plus a decent dividend yield as well. So you get that growth as well and the dividend yield let's take a look let's go ahead and take a look at the balance sheet all right let's see okay so the balance sheet now this one is a little better as far as the balance sheet as we can see total assets is higher than the debt that's what we want and so as far as the balance sheet this one is nice they actually anything worse comes to worse they'll be able to pay the debt let's take a look at the chart all right so Prior to prior to the correction, they were okay. At the end, they did went down. Uh, but as you can see, S and P actually took a dip, and they were just able to maintain. And little by little, they go. So it, this one is like they maintain, they outperform, maintain, outperform, maintain. Up. But now again, it went up and down, and then now I'm performing. Yes, and uh, the S and P five hundred. So as you can see, this one is a little more volatile. But then again. 
is still, you know, they, they will still outperform in the S&P many, many times. So this is another one for you if you're looking for something international for you to, you know, take a look at, consider. All right, guys, talking about two bonuses, two stocks that also were able to outperform the S&P 500. Check it out. First one, if you love Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, hear this. El Pollo Loco Holdings Inc. engages in the ownership and management of restaurants chain. It specializes in fried green and citrus, marinated chicken, and operates in the limited service restaurant segment. So they have two segmentations, the full service and the limited service. So they do have their own, uh, you know, their own approach when it comes to fast casual dining and the restaurants. The business was founded in 1975. And again, this is another restaurant business that's been, you know, they've been around. The headquarters is in California and they also have, you know, a nice market cap. Not bad. This one is more focused as a growth stock. They don't actually have any dividend yield, but still, again, focusing on the outperforming, the S&P 500, hey, that's always a plus. Now, so we can see here, focus on the balance sheet. You know, we can see that the total assets they, is actually higher than their debt. Always good. The total revenue, not bad. It, you know, it does match. You know, again, that balance sheet, pretty good. They'd be able to, to you know, to pay the debt, especially right now. So, you know, if, if, if the company is able to maintain and on top of that, outperform, you know that's still uh you know a strong business model but on top of that you want to have a good balance sheet and they do have a nice balance sheet you know, it's, it's the assets is uh you know it's higher than the debt so that's that's a plus now taking a look at the charts look at this completely even before the correction outperforming the s p 500 huge the one that they took the dip in march yes but look at that, they bounce, recovery is, you know, let's go ahead and channel what's going on. And after that, they went woof, beginning of April, right there. And after that, don't stop, just up, 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 completely outperforming the S&P 500. So if you're interested in, in, in this company, you can find it, you know, look on the website to get further information. All right, guys, so second bonus stop, Louis Inc. They operate in the restaurant industry, contract food services industry, and they also operate through the segmentation of company or restaurant section, the foot rocket franchise operation, and the culinary contract services. So another uh, restaurants that they also have their own business model and segmentation. So it's that's, again, that's always a plus. This is, if you see comment, these businesses have been able to outperform because of their segmentation, you know, their business model. The company was founded in actually 1947, so they also been around. And the headquarters in uh, in Texas, you know, you're able to see there uh, they'd be able to outperform. Again, 1947, they don't. This is more focused on company growth, growth of stock. They don't actually offer any dividend yield. Well, let's go ahead, and take a look at the balance sheet. Balance sheet. Actually, the balance is really good. Look at that. Total assets is way above the total debt. So that, that's a plus, you know, uh, a higher difference. You'll be able to see that if anything happened, they'll be able to pay off their debt. And, and then again, you take into consideration right now to all, all the challenges, they'll be able to control and maintain and outperform the index. That's always good. Let's take a look at the chart. As you can see here, even way before, way, way, way before the correction, they were completely, completely outperforming the, the S&P 500. They took the dip. Now it took him some time. It took him like, what, like two months to actually, you know, recover or higher. But look at that. In June, they just skyrocketed. Big, like this is huge. Look at that. Boom, completely outperforming. And then after that, you'll see they took the dip, but they still are outperforming the index. No matter, the 
you know, they're still doing their thing. Good balance sheet, good performance. You know, now with the DoorDash and the Uber, people, you know, doing the delivery. So that's a, another plus. As you can see, another company as a bonus that was able to outperform the S&P 500. So check it out and see if you like it. You know, just make sure that you do your process and see if this be an, a, a company for you. All right, cool beans. So guys, please keep in mind the economy and the stock market right now, they're not on the same page. So as an investor, you want to monitor how the situation evolves as more businesses take, you know, different approaches to allow dining again. Nonetheless, you need to be very cautious when investing. So yeah, guys, hope you find this content valuable. If you have any questions, please blaze them down below. Any comments, anything, go ahead. Also, please practice due diligence, period. You need to do your homework, all right? Also, I want to take the time and share my investing one-on-one -on -one guide. Go ahead, down in the description. Just name, email, will take you straight directly to the download link so you can download the study guide. Also, for my Spanish line people, I got you. Gente Latina, la misma forma, correo electrónico, su nombre, lo llevará directo al sitio web. Pueden bajar ya directamente la guía de estudio. Pónganse en estudiar, es completamente gratis. So no hay excusa, ok? Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my content, ok? So that's the Call of Duty formula for you. All right, don't forget. Ok, guys. That wraps it up. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next chapter, okay? Work hard, work smart. I'm out.